welcome back and if you are new welcome my name is Nikki don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you're notified of all new uploads because I'm uploading a lot I've been sticking to my schedule of uploading three times a week two videos plus a live stream every Sunday so don't forget to subscribe today we're gonna be talking about a brand that is completely new to me this is my first time trying their products this is the brand brand I struggle guys, I struggle. This is the brand called a Black Up, so let's jump right into it. All right, so these products were actually sent to me to my PO box for free for me to try out, and I was so excited because I just found out that Sephora just started carrying this line, which I think is freaking amazing because this line is specifically for women of color. It's a high-end luxury brand, which I think is it's one of the first. It says on their website they're one of the first luxury makeup brands specifically for women of color, and this line was actually started by makeup artists themselves and it is based in Paris. So all of that information was new to me. I think that's all awesome. It's for women of color. Thank you, Lord, because obviously I have some color. It's high end, which is amazing. I, do you guys know of any other brands that are specifically for women of color that are high end? Because I don't. I think this is the only one, honestly. If you guys know, let me know because I'd love to try them out. So it's high end for women of color and they carry it at Sephora now. So please, guys, if you have any color on your skin, please go and buy this and try it out because what happens is if Sephora sees that it's not selling, then they get rid of it. And I don't want them to get rid of it because we need more brands like this in Sephora and Nordstrom and Ulta. We need these things because it is so hard to find makeup that looks good on my skin tone and I know other women of color struggle too. So at least give it a try, let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts in this video. So I am wearing these two products today. The first one I have is the Mattifying Tinted Moisturizer. And what shade is this in? This is, it says 04, but it has a name. Is that it? I thought it had a name. Well, I have the shade 04. I thought I saw a name somewhere. No, all right, so this is the shade 04, and this is their mattifying tinted moisturizer. It says it ha does not have parabens, it's oil-free, and it's fragrance-free. I am wearing it now, and I cannot believe it, but it is like the perfect match for my skin tone, which is amazing. Like, I don't know, you can see on camera, it matches my neck perfectly. Like, this is great for me right now in the winter time. In the summertime, I think it'll be too light for me, so I might like pass it to my mom, but right now, this is perfect. So let's talk a little bit about this. So I've never tried a tinted moisturizer. I don't know if you guys have heard, but if you're new here, I like full coverage. I don't wear BB creams, I don't wear CC creams, I don't wear usually tinted moisturizers. I like full coverage. If I'm putting foundation on, I usually want full coverage. Summertime is the only time I would probably reach for this first before my full coverage foundations because I tend to want something lighter. So. I'm just being honest, usually I probably wouldn't gravitate towards this, but I'm so glad they sent it to me because I really, really like it. It is light to medium coverage, and you can get this at Sephora, and remember, this is a higher end brand, so this is not that affordable. I wanna say this was 40 bucks? I think this is 40 or 50 bucks, let me check. It's $40, so it's 39.50 at Sephora. You can get it at Sephora online or on their website. It's not that affordable, it's $40, but this is very comfortable. And for any of you out there, I think most people that don't want like cake face, like really thick foundation like I do, I think you would love this. It's just so comfortable. I don't feel like I have anything on. If you wanna build it up, you can. This is very medium coverage and it's not that buildable to full coverage like if you wanted full coverage you'd have to put a lot of this on so if you want full coverage i would say try their full coverage foundation they do have a full coverage foundation that i'm actually going to try i'll link it down below but this is for light to medium coverage it's just comfortable easy to put on blends so well i have it on now how long have i had this on i've had this on for about three or four hours and i don't know if you can tell but i can see i'm really shiny like I'm, I'm not really shiny on like a one to a 10, I'm at a five, but I know the longer I have this on, I'm gonna get even more shiny. And I did use a primer, so it says it's mattifying, but I don't know, girl, I'm like really shiny. Can you guys see that? Let me know in the comments below. I see it on the screen, I'm looking down here. So I can see what you see, but to me, I'm a bit shiny, but oh God, of 
course I've got the wig sticking up. I hate when I watch the playbacks of the videos and there's like a spot on my shirt or like my wig is sticking up. I'm like, you guys couldn't tell me that? Maybe if I actually looked at myself before I started filming. So this mattifying moisturizer, I like it a lot. Um, it did keep me matte for about three or four hours. I'm just starting to peek through with some shine so I could just powder or blot. It's really comfortable. I like that it's oil-free so it won't clog your pores. And I'm going to use this up. I'm actually really shocked, guys. For a full coverage girl, I really like this. It just feels really nice. Oh, not nice. Calm down. It feels really light. So on days when I want something light and I don't want cake face, this is going to be perfect. I really like this. When I run out, I'm definitely going to repurchase it. I think it'll be great for summertime. So if you like light to medium coverage foundations and you've been on the hunt, definitely check this out. Or if you have tried it, let me know your thoughts down below. I really like it. All right, so next up, they sent me their Sublime Powder. And does this have a name? I think it's just number four. I thought I saw like a shade name. It's number four, it says it's made in Italy, fancy. And remember this brand is based in Paris. So this is a luminous and silky powder that naturally enhances skin's radiance and gives an immediate healthy glow. A light formula that blends easy, oil-free, paraben-free, and fragrance-free. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this is what's like making the shine come out a little bit because what I did was I put this on first, the mattifying uh, moisturizer, and then I topped it with this. And this is not a mattifying powder. <laughs> this is a luminous, silky powder. Um, so maybe that's what it is. But I really like this, guys. I like the way it feels. It's really lightweight. I don't know if I'll use it that often because like I said, I'm kind of shocked that I'm this shiny like after three hours, especially because this is mattifying. So what I think I want to do is I want to try this alone without this silky powder because I think I might stay matte a little longer, but it feels nice, really lightweight. Um, when I saw it in the packaging, I was like, oh, I think that's going to be too light for me. But once you see that there, it's a little color and it has a little bit of shine. So, oh, I'm thinking that's what's giving me like this, like shiny glow. But once you rub it into the skin, you see you can barely see it, barely, I cannot talk today. You can barely see it, but there is a little bit of a sheen. So I'm thinking maybe that's what's giving me the shine. So I really like the way it feels though. And it blends in the skin really nicely, but I think this might this probably would be better for those of you that have like dry to combo skin that need to add a glow onto it. I don't know if this is great for me because I'm oily, but I do like the way it feels. And did I mention, I really love the packaging. I'll show you guys some close-ups of it. I have my fingerprints all over it, but it looks um, like it's really sturdy, like it's glass, but it feels really lightweight. And I really like the gold lining. It just feels very chic. And even the mattifying moisturizer, like it looks really light, but it feels really sturdy. So I really like the packaging. So I really like this powder. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep using it though, just because it does add some shine. And usually I'm trying to take the shine away from my face, but I really like the way it feels. I've had it on for three hours and I really like this mirror that it comes with. Really nice size mirror. So I like it. I think if you're dry combo, definitely check this out. All right, short, quick, easy, simple video. That's how these what is videos are gonna go. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I started a new series this year called what is slash how to. I'll link the video down below where I explain it. But so far, I really like this. I'm gonna pick up some more products from Black Up on Sephora. I wanna try the full coverage foundation. It looks like they even have nail polishes. So. I'm gonna try some more products from them. If you guys have tried any of these, definitely let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And that's it for me. I will see you next time. Bye. <music>